so excited for you guys to see this workshop. It is incredible. I'd like to point out, and this is not to offer apology because it means none. It is phenomenal. I'd just like to point out that Broadway actors spend uh, 15 days, a three-week period, rehearsing these three disciplines. These people did it in seven. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, the director, the musical director, the writer of the book, and also the composer of the musical, David Michael. <laughs> and to let you know, David Michael was a camper when he was 14. So this is what we call full circle, and I'm 14 now. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, I'm going to leave David for his intro and enjoy. Um, all the students in this cast, they are so incredible. They um, learned three different disciplines from me and my team this week. Um, all of them worked super, super hard. We had a really, really busy rehearsal week, but they all deserve the performance we're about to get tonight, and it's going to be super cool today. And it's going to be super, super fun. Um, I'm just super excited. The show is about uh, kids from my hometown, uh, well, it's a town like mine in Louisiana. And it's a show that really resonates um, with the general theme of belief in yourself. So um, I just want you to know the Hoosier Star is an effort. Uh, love and family, we'll have a good time watching it. Um, I have my best friend and fan here today, so um, enjoy the performance, and um, all your kids are fantastic. So, yeah. My name's Camden. I'm pretty sure I'm your star.
pink lipstick smeared shadow on her eyes. Claire never needs an ID. Everybody knows she's a glamour girl train wreck. Rich enough to bounce a check Hollywood. Cram a grin looking like a has-been. That girl's got a pair of high heels that would sure look better on me. Tell her go make some new friends. Cause she's looking like a has-been. My name's Sterling, and I'm 15. I'm Avery, and 15 as well. We just started singing together. This, this is, is Pipe Dreams. Dreams. I'm telling jokes, making all my friends cry. This month I'm broke, eating tacos and fries. Since last we spoke, I'm feeling young, wild, and free. I'm all grown up at this, I'm starting to be. It's not all bad, it's bad as it seems. All my big hopes run through my Pipe Dreams. I'm happy enough and moving.
maker who is the care, so keep doing what y'all are doing and be brave. <laughs> Word brave was in all caps, so she says that's important. So uh, next we're ready for Carrie Cartwright and she's singing with her sister, Anna Lynn. Carrie, are y'all ready? Uh, Miss Jim, Anna Lynn's just going to be here in a second. I'm here. She's ready. I'm ready. Just a couple minutes, we're all set. Well, I'm excited to hear what the two of you came up with. I am so sorry. I was just driving around all I was trying to grab an entire hour going with my parts and thank the Lord I can see me driving something over the night time so I can not pull over. Miss Jim, you didn't do my other the shot. I really want to all hear my new originals. The old lyrics were okay, but the new ones are just so much stronger. Let me see if we have more time tomorrow. I may also want to give it another shot. I wasn't warmed up as I should have been. And well, my vocal teacher got here an hour ago and told me I could clean up my Hi, my name is Anna Lynn, and I'm singing today to support my sister. She wanted to audition, so I figured I'd help. We're both worship singers, and we're going to be singing a song I wrote called Closer to Your Will. I will stay quiet, I shall be still, just guide me closer to your will and when I feel I'm all on my own Lord please reveal my journey home and when I'm lost on my way up that hill just guide me closer 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 to your will. Lead me, guide me closer to your will. I want to be closer, closer to your will. Lead me, guide me closer to your will. I want to be closer, closer, closer to your will.
that's a blessing. You are so sweet, Miss Wyatt, but I think I'm all settled right here in my own town. Besides, the music scene is great here. The music scene here is full of charm. <laughs> Carrie, your voice is out of the night, Miss Diva. I'm so excited to have you. I can't wait to see what happens with the rest of your audition. And hopefully we get to have you on the show. We can whisk you away to Los Angeles. Thank you so much, Leica. Just thinking of going from Louisiana to LA gets me so excited. I know my sister, and she's so talented, but this type of show really isn't for her. I'm still trying to convince myself it's only for me. But we're so lucky y'all chose Dixon. There's so many young, talented singers here that if any of us makes that out of here, it will change everything. But with my help, we will make it out of here. And I want you on my team, girl. When I first left Norway for the States, I was so scared, but I had to come. I had the most crap apart in Hollywood. I could only afford to eat hot dogs and drink iced coffee. <laughs>
go on there. Amen. I mean, you two is my jam. Carrie, we're super happy you got out for the show. Mr. Jibido, you were amazing. I could be wrong, but I think you have the best voice in the whole parish and state and country and world, plus everywhere else. You are so sweet today, buddy. Why? I'm proud, that's all. That performance was really special. You're just really special. Thanks, buddy. You're pretty good, too. Shame! Doll bug, angel baby. You are heaven served on French toast. <laughs> With chai. <laughs> she really likes you. I really like you. And I think you're iconic, to say the least, animals. Forces collided to make you. The forces made a little star. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you, Miss Leica. I'll tell my folks you said that. We already did. The other producers met with them this morning to film their interviews for the show. I just want to let you know that when the show picked our town to find the next star, I fell and cried. I've waited my whole life for something like this to happen, and I'll do whatever it takes to make it all the way. Shane, who is this? You were amazing up there. This is Jax. Jax is my, um, the friend. We're very good friends. Jax! You're a very cute little pup child. Like <laughs> Miss Leica, that means a lot coming from you. I have all your CDs, blah, I, I worship your music. I go down to New Orleans to see all your big shows. Pop tart, you just keep getting sweeter. <laughs> Why do you people keep calling me Miss down here? Like us starting to feel aged. <laughs> just y'all, just call me Like. Save the Miss in a little jar for my future self, and open it in about 20 years. <laughs> Jax. As a background singer, you're great, but you could take the lead and everyone loves you. It'd be silly if you didn't audition for the show as a solo artist. Really? I I'm so young, and I'm just here supporting all my friends, and uh, of course Shane right now, and I can think about the show for myself. All my friends here are just so talented. Your friends are great, but when the perfect opportunity comes to your doorstep, you don't just smile and send it next door. <laughs> just sit down and make a video for us, too late to schedule performance time, but you did at least have like to have one tape for the show. You're right. I'll make that tape. I'll write something just for this. Thanks, Miss Tune, and thank you so much, Miss Leica. Or Leica. Shane, I'll see you later. Leica, I'm going to go find Miss Emil with no carbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shane, I'm worried about. This is very hard for me to say, because I, I know how hard it was for you to come out. And I think that was very brave of you. But you want to win Who's Your Star. You could win. You'd have a better shot if you weren't out. I, I think you're amazingly talented, <coughs> boyishly handsome, and you have one of the most amazing spirits in the universe. But if I'm going to be honest about the show, you're gonna need a lot of votes to win. At this point, I don't think this part of the country is quite ready for a gay star. Don't take that the wrong way, ma'am. I love you and your cosmic courage. But I really want you to have a full shot. Namaste, Shane.
I don't like it when you're sad. Like it just told me it'd be better for my career if I weren't out. Like I said that? Doesn't like it perform at every pride celebration you've ever talked about going to? That lady is a gay treasure. She's like a unicorn for gay boys around the world and she thinks you should be out. That's what she said. I mean, I understand, because it'd be easier for me to win votes. You know, as I, I always had a sad face before I was out, but in a way it was easier being in. People thought we were dating. I thought we were dating. Dating you would have been easy. I just don't know. She thinks the audience would fall in love with me if I didn't make it about the whole gay thing. The girls would like me more if I was more available to them. Hun, I still have a little thing for you, and you're definitely not available. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's hug it out. No, get off me. Get off me right now, Shane. Hiding would be weird. It wouldn't feel right. I know Leica thinks that going back in would help, but she's about to seriously lose me as a fan if she makes it up. She said it was my decision. She, she just wants me to get the spot, and she wants me to win. I think Laika wants the best for me. That's just it. What's the best for you? Laika wants to continue her winning streak on the show. The best thing for you is to be Shane, the pretty boy that you are, right? What's best for you on this show may not be what's best for the boy I love. And I mean, how can you ask someone to hide something so big about themselves just to be famous? Well, that's the definition of a pop star. You gotta put a filter on it, make it look cute. Then you'll be insta-famous. <laughs> Gross. I'm a lady, but I will actually put I thought you'd like that. Shane, I just want you to be Shane. That's why I'm not trying out for this show. I like Anna Lynn, who's lived at the same address all her life, and has never been past San Antonio, Texas. I like her. She sings for God, and God thinks her voice is pretty. And if he doesn't, he just smiles with his heart and says nothing at all. Church singing is great. Don't you get bored of her? You love me, jerk. I do. I've got to get out of here however I can. Maybe I don't want to be just Shane. Maybe I want everyone else to read about me in a magazine and maybe something I'm not. Someone on one of those hot people lists. I don't know if Laika is right. She's a big deal. And the opportunity is right here. She believes in me. She wants to take it in her hand to help me get out of here. I could be free. Trying to be someone else will make you feel free. Well, it might be better than this. What about Jax? I think Jax loves you. Please don't say that. He might love you. I think you probably love him. I've got to think about my career. I feel sick. I, I don't know what to do. i got to call my grandma. Grandma, I, I'm confused. I'll see you later. I love you.
Why did you do one of your original songs for the show? I love your songs, and your voice is so much bigger than worship music. I understand why Anna Lynn doesn't want to audition. She's always been scared of everything she could imagine, but you're a dreamer. You remember when we used to sing my games? I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Girl, you've got pipes. You can sing radio music. I do love that song. I honestly feel like my life is one big 80s ballad after another. Lots of hair, tons of music, and lots of spinning. So then why don't you leave the worship music to your sister and for once sing what makes you really happy? That's what's gonna make you a hit on the show. Honestly, at first I did want to audition with my own music, but if I broke away from Christian music and Anna Lynn and left her here, I, I wouldn't feel right about that. When, when mom left, everything got so real so fast. And yeah, I have dreams of doing everything, but I'm just trying to do what's best for everyone. There's nothing here for you, Carrie. You need dreams. Do what's right for you, sugar. Annalyn's your sister, and you shouldn't have to lie to her. That girl's old enough to understand. Babe, you look good. Need a new dress? Old dress. New makeup. This is how I wake up, dude. New hair? <laughs> I just saw you this morning. Same hair. Oh, you're pretty. You're sweet. Hey, I'm actually gonna do a song in a few. Uh, make sure you get close. I like looking at you when I sing. I get inspired. You know, Jake, I'm really happy you decided to audition. I just wish you might have uh, told me first. I really want this. It's really important to me. And I guess I'm just nervous because all my friends are auditioning and now you. Audrey, don't worry about it, babe. You're, you're so good. I want you to get on the show more than anyone else, me included. Just I'd feel weird if I didn't go out for it, you know? Ever since I could walk, I've been trying to stroll onto a stage and sing. It's just everyone's talked about their dreams more. I'm very happy being your girlfriend, Jakey, and I can't wait till one day we get married and have kids and all that stuff. But for now, let's do some dream chasing and see what happens. I love it when you sing, so I'm happy you're trying out for the show. I just don't want to lose my boyfriend. I know I come in first place with you, though. Actually, you're fourth after God, sports, and country music, but you know, you're still pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, y'all. I just wanted to thank y'all so much for coming out this summer. It is so great to see y'all. Each year when I'm away at school in Nashville, I miss y'all, but I love getting to come back for the summer and host these parties. Anyway, I just wanted to welcome Laika and her team to the area and have this little concert. Have y'all liked everyone who's been up so far? Good. I love them too. Okay, next we have Jake, and I'm sure he's gonna be real good. Jake, you look so good. Like, you can sing professionally. And yeah, Jake, do you even need carpets? You always look so thick. Thanks, uh, Vegas. Settle down and you roll the dice, you kinda get used to a certain life. And everything you know just seems so right. And your neighbors are your Mexican, cause you grew up right next door to them. I like to start a little drawer and find the time Took a missing team to save my side There's a part inside of me that needs to shine I'm scared about my future But I know I'm still young Don't know where I'm going But I know where I'm from Same old painting, same old book Same old town, same old look Times like this just never change. Nothing's new when you know one's face. We drink sweet tea and lemonade. When times like this just stay the same. Part of me wants to walk away, another part just wants to stay. Bad where I was born and raised.
Then we worked on something that we're using to surprise Shane. He's having a rough time. I need to remind him of some things. <clears throat> Kendall! This part of this year looks more spectacular than ever before. You've got to tell me your secret. I like to read Teen Vogue, and I have a really good relationship with my friends at the bank. A good budget can fix any party, right? Well, if anyone knows about a good budget, it's you. Like it just came back out. You girls ready? Um, yes. Attention, everyone. I'm going to be performing my new single that I've been working on with my songwriting teachers in Nashville and LA for my new EP that I'll be releasing this fall. I'm going to be using this as my Who's Your Star audition, so I'm really happy you could be here, Laika. Cue music. Cue wind. No. <laughs> Interested. 
I'm a little shocked, but let's see what happens. I'd really love to write with you, Murphy. Yeah, cool. Um. Is Murphy trying to get back together with you? Um, clearly, he's gotten really cheap over the last year. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that girl really knows how to put on show. Um, Jake, I think she calls it a spectacular. <laughs> it was all that and more. I think we got our money's worth. Honey, it was great. <laughs> George Strait and Whitney Houston and artists like that that my folks play on the radio. So I love all types of music. My little sister and I are actually Christian worship singers and we've been singing since we were little. We actually have a few praise CDs out. I love Dixon and I would love to stay here with my little sister and sing with her, but in my heart I'm really a pop and R&B singer. So here's a song I wrote called Golden Summer.
it downloads a backup copy. After it's in processing, her audition video is still here. I'm done. This is so fancy. We have to put this up. It'll go viral. Already done. We have to send it to June and like it. This video will be all over Tumblr by tomorrow. Yes! <laughs>
here since we were little kids. I love it out here. I come out here to write all the time. It's peaceful. I wanted to come out here for a little something special because uh, I made it a little picnic. You are quite possibly the best guy in this whole town. Second to only you, of course, but I'm cool with that. <laughs> well, uh, let's sit. Anna Lynn told me about what happened at the audition the other day with Micah. And she said you called her and you were thinking about quitting the show completely. I'm just confused about a lot of things in my life right now. I have a lot of friends here that love me, and I love them right back, but we grew up with people who don't understand people like us. I don't like being the odd man out. I don't like being looked at as strange. I have to get out of Dixon. So I decided if I'm gonna do Who's Your Star, I have to take like his advice and not be out. I love you. What? Yeah, I, I sorry, I had to say that because I didn't know what else to say, and I've been trying to say this since we were 12 and playing hide and seek, but I figured why not just come out and say it? Shane, you made me realize who I was. Because when I should have had a crush on Audrey or Camden, I was staring at you. It's always been shame for me. I don't know what to say. You know I'm not good at things like this. Wait, I, I, I don't need you to say anything yet. I, I wrote something for you. Um, I, I'm doing this song for the audition, but it, it's for you.
Thank you all for uh, coming out tonight. I'd uh, like to dedicate this song to a friend of mine, Kendall Carter. Oh, my God. 
That show, it's, it's just not what I dream about. Anna Lynn, you've got to start wanting something for yourself. Something big, something you can't see, and something that doesn't have a due date or an expiration date on it. There are always tones trying to tell someone how great they are, showing them how talented they are. When are you going to realize that you could be a big star yourself? I just don't want that. Really. When we were little, you'd never want to say your name before you started to sing. And then when people started saying your name around town and saying how talented you were, you'd light up like a firefly. One thing I know about my little sister is she loves the sound of her own name. And a Lynn, and a Lynn, and a Lynn. My little sister has two first names because her ego needs both. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a little frustrated with you. Everyone in this entire town loves you, and you know they do. You love that. I need to do Who's Your Star because I'm good, and I've known that for a while. And this is probably my best shot at figuring out what I'm going to do with my life. You need to do it in my life. Deep down inside, you know you want to, but you're just scared. You're scared that everyone in this entire town will see that all you've wanted your entire life is to be a big star, and you're too scared to try. Now, I have to go to a meeting with the producers. <laughs>